Hi there, this is Dawn with DawnDelVecchio.com and Marketing with Heart. And this short video will show you how to convert a GarageBand recording you've created into an MP3 file. And then how to actually send it to somebody else, um, you know, via an attachment. Okay, so all you need to do, you'll see I have a little demonstration audio here. And if I hit the space bar, Okay, so you can see, it doesn't really matter what it is, of course, you can have this be an hour long, it's the same thing, the file, obviously, the, the longer the recording, the bigger the file, but uh, basically all you're going to do is you go up to the menu bar at the top, and you choose the word share, and then you're going to come down, a drop, obviously a drop down menu will come, you're going to hit select export song to disk, and then I just use MP3 encoder, higher quality. I think these are the default settings, so I choose the highest quality possible. And then I hit the export button. Then a new one's going to open up with uh, t telling me where where should I save it. And at this point, you know, you can select your subfolders, wherever it is, whatever. Or I'm in my case, I'm just going to save it right now on the desktop. Um, that's up to you. What your directory is, how you structure your your system. Sometimes. Uh, I just save things on the desktop when I'm really busy during the day, and at the end of the day, I put things in their respective, you know, I click and drag things to their respective folders. Well, so, but that's that's your decision. Just remember where it is that you saved it, okay? All right, so that was it. This was a very short audio, so it only took a, a, almost a split second while I was talking to convert. If you have... For example, I converted some files earlier today that were a training course I did. So each co each course uh, each class was an hour long. That took about mm, I think about eight minutes to convert. So I just you know went on and did something else in the meantime. Okay, so there you have it. That was the conversion. Very simple, right? You go to share, you click export, you choose the highest thing, you figure out where you want to save it, and you click save. Pretty painless, and it will convert. And I'm just going to slide this over a little, show you where it is. You see right here, this little icon with the musical note, and it says how to. And if I were to click on it, you could see it's called how to convert to MP3. And then it's .mp3. That means this, this right here is the file that identifies what the file is. Okay. All right. Now, next thing is I need to send this. To someone. Now, if you've got a short audio, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes or less, you, you the file should be big enough or small enough rather to send purely as an attachment via email. If it's not, if it's a long audio for some reason, and you need to um, compact the file size, what you do is you you right click on it. So in a, on a Mac or if you have a mouse pad, it's control and then touch the mouse pad or right click if you have a mouse. And then what you do is you go to compress. And again, I'm using a Mac. Yours might be a little different. So you're going to have to search for the equivalent of compress or zip. Some people call it a zip. Call, it is called a zipped file. So, But you, the direction might be zip and then the name of the file. So in this case, I'm going to hit compress. Let's watch what happens on the side here. You'll see that it compressed it right there, and it's got this little icon that looks a little like a zipper. Okay, and then you can see at the end it says dot zip. So if we look at it again, we go here, it says dot mp3 dot z. So it's a zipped file. Okay, oh, there is zip there. Anyway, um, you see, I've compressed it now. That really wasn't necessary with such a short uh, audio. I just wanted to show that in case you have a bigger file. Now what you're going to do, let's assume you have to mail it to someone. We're going to go to our email, and I'm going to hit Compose. I'm just going to mail this to myself, right? Go to Gmail, and... Uh, then I'm going to go down here to the little um, 
paperclip icon. Yours might be a little different, but look for something that says attach or attachment or attach file. And then I'm going to go to my desktop and then I'm going to look for the file. Now remember that little zipper icon? I happen to know right now that that's the only zipped file on my desktop, but uh, you know, you should be able to find it based on the name or whatever. You can see here how to convert to mp3 dot mp3 dot zip. In my case I could pick either one because again as we know this file it's not very big in size. You can see 385 kilobytes. It's quite small. Um, so again I could do that but if you have a big file then you're going to use the, you're going to zip it and choose the zip file. So all I do is I click on it and then I hit open. And then watch what happens here. You see it's attaching, 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 like that. I have to wait for it to attach. And again, your email might look a little different, but that's the basic thing. And then I'll put in here zip. Oh, no, it's not a zip. How to demo. And then you just hit send. Et voila. There you have it. That's how you convert and then send. Uh, an M uh, a garage band file, turn it to an MP3 and then send it.